Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the April 2015 Grade 5-6 Contest, Question 15, which also came up in the Grade 7 eight Contest. So, the question is, Cassidy purchased four distinct items from the menu below. She spent $17.76. What is the difference of the price of the two items she did not buy? Okay. So now let's look at the cost of each item. Now we can see that the price of each item ends in a nine. So to make it a lot easier on ourselves, we will just add the price of each item by one cent so that they all end in a zero. All right, so we have 299, which will go to three. Then we have a 349, which will go to 350. Then a 629, which will go to a 630. And then a 499, which will go to a 5. Then a 389, which goes to a 390. And finally, a 549, which goes to a 550. Okay, and now, since she purchased four items, and each, now each item is increased by one cent, that means that the total will come to four times one is four cents more than what is shown. So the total will actually come to $17.80, which also makes the total easier. Okay, all right. Now we can see that the total ends in 80 cents and almost all the items are ending half a dollar or just a full dollar. Now, except for the 630 and the 390. Okay, now if we were to have the item, which is the $3.90, then subtracting that from 80, we would still end up with 90. And now even 30 and 50 only add up to 80. So therefore, we, she could not have purchased the item for $3.90. Okay, which means that she must have purchased this item for $6.30. All right, now we will subtract $6.30 from the total. Zero minus zero is zero. Eight minus three is five, putting the decimal. 7 minus 6 is 1, and 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay, so the other three items that you purchased must have come to a total of 1150. All right, <clears throat> and now only two other options end in 50 cents, which is 550 and the 350. So therefore, she could only have purchased either the 351 or the 551. And for that reason, she must have purchased the item for $5, and she also must have purchased the item for $3, since she purchased four items. Now, since she purchased those, that 3 plus 5 is 8, and now 11.50 minus 8, now we'll write over here, 11.50 minus $8, That is 0, 5, and 11 minus 8 is 3. Therefore, she must have also the last item that she purchased must have been the item for $3.50, which is right here. Therefore, she couldn't have purchased this item. All right, so now we know the items that she purchased and most importantly, the ones that she did not. Now, the question asks, what is the difference of the price of the two items she did not buy? So, here are the two items that she did not buy. 
she did not buy the book for $5.50, and she did not buy the card game for $3.90. Now, of course, we could find that difference by using the real prices, but since both prices are increased by one cent, they cancel when you find the difference. So it'll be the same finding the difference here or here. So we will just find the difference using these prices. So therefore we have 550 minus 390. So zero minus zero is zero. Now we can't do five minus nine. So we must take from the 10. So 15 minus nine is six. And four minus three is one. Therefore, the difference is $1.60. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.